Complex regional pain syndrome affects about 200,000 people in the United States. It, it, it's fairly uncommon in the general population, but it affects, gosh, I think anywhere between 4 to 7 percent of patients after limb fracture or limb surgery. This is, um, we yet don't have any FDA approved treatments for CRPS. We use a, a multi sort of modality type of treatment that incorporate medication therapies, interventional therapies, injections, spinal cord stimulation that can help. I think that some of the novel agents would include things like, uh, well, there's a new spinal cord stimulator device called dorsal root ganglion stimulation. So traditionally, spinal cord stimulation can help, and I think we have quite a bit of data that suggests that spinal cord stimulation is useful for complex facial pain syndrome. We now have the ability to stimulate a part of the central nervous system called the dorsal root ganglion. And that's a relay station, really, between the spinal cord and the peripheral nerves. It's important in pain modulation. We can place a little wire over that structure, the DRG, the dorsal root ganglion, for pain relief. It's FDA approved in the United States, actually, now for complex regional pain syndrome. That's something new. There's another device called scrambler therapy. This is something that was used for many years in Europe before it was approved in the United States, I think in 2014, for neuropathic pain, for chronic pain, and then actually for, I think it was oncologic pain as well. This is something that uses various different frequencies of low frequency stimulation for pain reduction. And there have been studies on the use of this for CRPS that have shown efficacy. And in fact, if you read these studies, I've been amazed at the dramatic amount of relief that patients report who undergo this particular therapy, not only with CRPS, but with other pain conditions. It might be low back pain. It could be you know, post hepatic neuralgia, chronic shingles pain. Not that available, unfortunately. Yeah, that's so. One of the problems is that it's probably not that well known. Two, it's expensive. It's about I think two thousand twenty five hundred dollars for ten sessions. Well, most people can't afford that. I mean, that's you know, it, it's quite expensive. It is covered by the VA. So if patients are part of the VA system, it is covered. But I think it's it's intriguing. It's new. Uh, we need more. We definitely need more studies on the use of this for complex regional pain syndrome. But you know, I've had patients of, with a variety of pain conditions who've undergone this particular treatment who've had pretty dramatic results. It's not, it doesn't cure, it doesn't seem to cure the pain condition. But boy, if it reduces it for three months, four months, and they need booster sessions, it, it's really quite worthwhile.